refuse go to a certain motel, pay a visit to your daughter-in-law and your little granddaughter. What do you think happens then? Consider your position carefully. I got my money. Or neither of us walk out of here. To them Salamancas about money. Boy, hey. Shout out to Breaking Bad and a Better Call Saul. just struck down this gun law. And wait till the end of the video when we get to what is going to make your blood boil that the prosecutors argued in court for why the law should be constitutional. Before we get there, my name is Tom Grieve. I'm a former state prosecutor, criminal defense attorney. And as a quick reminder, the USCCA has a secret giveaway going on right now that ends soon it's free to enter just click on the link in the description below to reveal what it is so the case that we're talking about is us v harrison which comes from the western district court of oklahoma the law that we're talking about is 18 usc 922 sub g sub 3 for those of you who do not commit federal statutes to memory which largely includes myself we're talking about the ban on individuals who are users of cannabis or marijuana from being able to possess firearms. For those of you who may not be aware, there's been a bit of a wave in across the United States when it comes to the legalization of THC. We're gonna be getting into that in just a moment, but what arguments are we talking about here? There's gonna be three things what that are gonna be covered in this case. Who's a law-abiding citizen under the Bruin test? Who bears the burden of proof? So the burden shifting analysis. Does the individual, the defendant in court, have to show that the law falls outside the historical tradition, or does the government need to show that? And then lastly, and most egregiously, and you gotta stick around for this, we're gonna be dealing with the folks who the government says are presumptively risky individuals, their wording, not mine, and whether or not that should extend to the unvirtuous, their wording, not mine, folks who use THC. So we're getting to all that and more, and again, you've got to stick around to hear what's going to make your blood boil, because it made my blood boil, and I really don't say that very often. <laughs> we're talking about the facts of the case. Basically, there's a traffic stop because Mr. Harrison blew a red light on his way to a, uh, his job at a medical dispensary. Backup officer was summoned to the scene. There was a search of the car. There was a loaded revolver found on the driver's side floorboard, as well as a number of pills, as well as, of course, cannabis, marijuana, THC, and it came in all sorts of different forms gummies vapes thc cigarettes and stems mr harrison faces criminal charges out of oklahoma so the state criminal court for the possession of thc as well as paraphernalia in addition to the traffic ordinance violation for failure to obey a traffic signal that's the red light violation and i will note that it seems like he was not in possession of the state issued mar medical marijuana card however on august 17th of 2022 he was later indicted by a federal grand jury for being in possession of a firearm with knowledge that he was an unlawful user of marijuana. Again, going back to the federal law and the fact that under federal law, this is all illegal. I'm not going to read you the whole statute. If you want to see that, check it out in the description box below. Also, if you want to see a whole much longer analysis of everything here, be sure to check it out on my channel. Just Google Attorney Tom Grieve. You'll find it there. I want to make sure that this is going to be a quick hits one for those of you who may not have 25 minutes, um, but this is going to cover everything that you need to know. So you're going to be going through different definitions in there, but again, I want to catch you up to the fact that medical cannabis is now lawful in 37 states. 37. Recreational marijuana is now lawful in 21 states. An additional 10 states have decriminalized the use of marijuana to varying degrees. Now, it's easier for me to name the 11 states where it is actually still a crime, namely Wisconsin, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, Texas, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, South Carolina, and Georgia. I want uh -oh. to give an important legal disclaimer for not only myself, count. but also for the United States Concealed Carry Association that, look, before you go out and possess marijuana, regardless of whether or not you have a firearm, please, please, please check your local listings. The ability to understand and research things for yourself is one of the few things we have left in this world. Don't 
outsource it 100% to the internet. Uh, make sure that you check your local listings to see what the laws are with your 